Hey folks, uh, today we're going to be working on making our own pirate coin or a doubloon and we're going to use Tinkercad for that. So you want to log into Tinkercad and click new project. We're going to do a 3D design today. And that's going to open up your table or your platter here. And what we're going to need to do first is we're going to need to find a flat circular object and this cylinder is going to work just fine. I know what you're thinking, you're like, man, that's way too tall. Uh, we can fix that. So first of all, this is really tiny to work with. So we're going to want to click the corner and click shift and just drag it out. This keeps the proportions nice and tidy. Everything is still round. And then from our top, see how it's eight, almost eight and a half centimeters tall at this point. That's way too tall to make it look more like a coin. Let's shrink that down. Um, we can drop that all the way to... Maybe even six millimeters would be fine for this project. Okay, so now I have a nice um, circular platform to work with. I'll just drag that into the middle. And we're going to start working on a bit of a design here. And so for my design, I want to just make uh, some lines through it. A lot of these kind of coins were adorned in, in different ways using different symbols. A lot of these were hand stamped back in the day. So all I'm doing is I'm taking this um, rectangular piece here. I might need to zoom in to get a better grip on it. And I'm going to try to center that down the middle of my object. If you click top, you get a good look at what it actually looks like. And now I should be able to kind of drag it into the middle. This isn't long enough for me, so I want it going like this. I'm going to try to copy this shape. So if I click on it and it's highlighted and I go control C, control V, now there's two of them. And the reason I did that is I want mine to kind of have this cross down the middle. You can do whatever design you want for this. You don't have to do that. I think now that I'm here, I actually want to do something a little different as well. I'm going to shrink these down. Maybe put some of those on the ends. Just like that. I like how this looks. Put those there. Another one. Oops. Drag this off to the side and rotate this. I think you can probably see what I'm doing right now with my design. Like I said, whatever you do with yours is totally cool. Oops. Sometimes Control Z is your best friend um, where you can quickly undo the things you're working on. Like that. I'll hit Control Z. This is the shape I meant to drag. sure where it went there and sometimes zooming in is your best friend because you can actually get a better grip okay so let's say this is my this is my shape you can see from the side like now that cross sticks way 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 up so a quick easy way to do that is just hold your shift button highlight all of your parts for the cross or whatever design you're doing group those and once those are grouped now I can change my view I can take this top little circle, see how that's sticking up two centimeters. The rest of it is a little less than, or a little more than half a centimeter. I can just shrink this down so it's just sticking above it like that. Now, mine's super basic. You're going to put a lot more detail into your design. But my last step is I'm going to click all of the whole thing. You can either like hold shift and click it all, or uh, you can just kind of drag that rectangle over it and it'll highlight the whole thing. You want to group that, and then this is too big for a coin, right? We made it large so we could work with it, but now that it's all designed and grouped, now I can hold my shift and I can shrink that down. And I probably want this shrunk down to uh, about five centimeters in diameter. And that's where it says the 50 on either side. So you can drag it to the 50, or if you can't quite get there, you can always go in here Click that little uh, section and it'll make it 50 on all sides, okay? just like that. So that's one thing to do. And because one coin is not really where we want to be, um, it'd be nice to have a couple of these coins that you can put into your, um, into your coin purse for your side quest. We can drag this off to the corner and now we can kind of copy and paste this entire thing over and over. I probably have room on here for six of these coins. And that's going to be a nice print job. I think that's going to look pretty cool when we've got a bunch.
bunch of these coins. Maybe we can spray paint them. Maybe we can put them in that coin purse. And then we've got a jangly treasure working with us. All right, you scallywags. Um, I'm sure you will do great. I'm sure your designs will be way less basic than mine. And uh, have fun with it.